The weekend was one of those weekends that you read about, 24 hours being a long time in sport, that was the weekend. Friday night for us against Arizona State was one of the more forgettable matches uh, for so many reasons, too many to go into right now, but we just did not show up to play. And uh, it was disappointing because the week had been a good week of preparation. We were healthy, well rested, we'd practiced well. There really wasn't anything that we could predict as coaches leading into the match, but uh, it quickly slipped out of our grasp. And, you know, it was disappointing that uh, we just really didn't compete in that match at all. It was 3-1, and really in the, in the sets we lost, it just wasn't close. And uh, uh, I, I think for us, uh, unfortunately, uh, we had to have that to have the 24-hour turnaround against Arizona on Saturday and win that match against the 18th ranked team in the nation. And really, if we'd been in horse racing, they would have swabbed us after 24 hours to turn in such a dramatically different performance. And, you know, really not to, to highlight too much about the Friday night, Arizona State played well, so we can't take anything away from them. But we just did not have uh, a stellar night really in any area to talk about. Megan McBride and Ashley Analico, our two freshmen, uh, I, I think were probably our standout players on Friday night. And uh, unfortunately, like I said earlier, there's not a lot more we can say about it that's uh, of positive nature. However, 24 hours later, it was just like we had a new team there. And uh, we had uh, very good contributions across the board. Uh, we won 3-1. Uh, we had Rachel back on deck again playing well. Megan McBride uh, set for three of the four sets, did a fantastic job, as did Ashley and Aliko and, Ra and Lexi in the middle. And then Camille Saxton, who uh, came on as a replacement outside hitter for Bree Miller, had her best match of the, of the season by far. And I think that uh, the positive out of that match against Arizona State was that we had depth coming off the bench to help us out. And we had a reversal of playing form in 24 hours. Uh, the key is we can't continue to have every weekend as one bad loss to make us play well the next night. Mathematically, that doesn't get us to the uh, NCAA tournament. So... Uh, let's hope that we've ironed out anything that was the, the cause of Friday night and whatever we did right for Saturday night, we need to bottle that and, and get that going for next weekend. Cal have come good all of a sudden. They had a five-set win against Washington in Washington and that's a rarity, not necessarily for Cal, for any team in Washington. Washington beaten Stanford the night before 3-0 and then lost to Cal in five. Cal have their Rachel Rourke and Hana Shatura, their senior outside hitter, who uh, is I think probably the hardest hitter uh, in the Pac-10. She really can hit a ball hard. And you know, defensively, we've talked about what do we do to stop it. Well, one, we've got to stop the ball getting into the backcourt because that thing comes at you like a cannon. So um, Cal, obviously, with Shatura playing as well as she is, we've got to block well. Uh, that's one of our strengths. We're still, I think, the leading team in the Pac-10 in terms of blocking. We've been doing a good, very good job with that area of our play, and we need to do that against Cal. Cal have uh, been good in the last two or three weeks of play, so uh, they'll be hot, ready to go. I thought we competed well against them in the first round, uh, so uh, they'll be a tough team, especially coming off that win against Washington. They'll, uh, they'll certainly have their confidence up. Stanford, on the other hand, are not the Stanford we've seen in the last few years. They're still very good, uh, make no mistake about that, but they're not the, the strength across the board that they used to have. And you know, they, they lost to Washington 3-0. They then went and defeated Washington State 3-0 the next night. But uh, the thing that Stanford have are probably two or three of the smartest players you're going to find in the Pac-10. I know they say Stanford's a great academic institution. Well, their volleyball players are smart as well. And uh, Kleinman, Alex Kleinman, their outside hitter, who has been uh, rated as one of the best players in the country. We hear regularly she's recovering still from shoulder surgery, so can't put the power on the ball and hit the angle she used to. However, she still finds the floor as much as any hitter in the Pac-10. And she does it. She has great finesse on the ball. She hits uh, roll shots, tips, and she keeps the, the defence really working hard on the other side to keep the ball off the floor. Ha! <laughs>